I have gotten quite a few questions on my other videos regarding Lightroom Mobile and watermarking in Lightroom Mobile. So I figured I'd do a quick video and show you all there is to know about watermarking in Lightroom Mobile. So I am using version 7.2 as of today. This is the newest version out and I do have an Adobe subscription. So I am using the full version. So if we go ahead and we get into Lightroom, let's go ahead and open this photo here, which is a photo, actually fun fact about this photo, if you zoom in here, hey look, that's me. <laughs> this is actually eight photos combined. I took eight photos and then I gave my camera to my fiance and I ran up the side here and I stood there and she took that photo and then I combined them all and made it look awesome and that is one of my favorite photos to date. Anyways, so we wanna watermark it, right? Okay, good. So let's hit the little square with the arrow in the top right. And then we're gonna click export as. Now when you click that, it's gonna give you all these options. So you get the file type, you can do JPEG, TIFF, or DNG. You can do the dimension, small, image quality, all that stuff. But if you look below image quality, it says include watermark. So if you have that unchecked, it's not gonna include a watermark. But if you have it checked, then it's going to include a watermark. But it also gives you the option to customize. So you get two options, you get text and graphic. The first one is super simple. So if let's say you wanna do a text, you just simply click on the text and type it in. Uh, like for example, free presets in description. <laughs> so there's a link in the, in the description for free presets if you want them. Just not related to this video at all, just figured it'd be a good, nice plug for me. Anyways, we're gonna use that as our watermark. Then you have a couple of options. You can change the font, simple. You can make it bold or italicized. You can rotate it, so up, down, left, right, upside down, whatever. You can then change the color, black or white. You only have two options. Uh, but then you can change the size. You can make it bigger, littler. You can change the opacity fully or kind of fade it out. You can then change the horizontal and vertical offset, but this only works on certain points. Notice how I have it in the center on the dot. If you look at the picture, there's nine dots, one in the center and then all the way around. If you change the position by clicking on another dot, different vertical and horizontal offsets become available, which allows you to then move it and adjust it as you need fit, as you see fit. And, and next is the graphic. And this is a little complicated because you have, um, just so you know, I'm using a MacBook Pro and an iPhone on this. I'm not sure exactly how to do it on Windows, but on MacBook Pro, you log in to your iCloud on your computer, uh, you drag and drop your file into your downloads box and then it will appear in your iCloud. So if we go to graphic here and we click this little plus sign in the top right, you'll notice that it has iCloud Drive and it has downloads. So what I do is you download, you put the file on your computer in your iCloud downloads folder. When you open that up, there's your emblem, you select it and then it pops up. So if you see here, there's our symbol there and now we have it. That is the easiest way I have found to get the emblem onto the phone. A little complicated and I'm not 100% sure how to do it on a Windows. So if you do, comment below so other people will know as well. But then you also get the same option, size, opacity, horizontal, and, and uh, vertical offset, and you can change it around super quick and easy. And then once you have selected your customized watermark, let's go back, now it is selected. You then press the check mark in the top right, and there you go. You have watermarked your image. Super simple, very easy to do in this new update. So if you reached the end of this video, go ahead and comment something weird, like I like popcorn or something like that, and let me know what you thought of the video. Also give it a like, because I know it answered a ton of your questions, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next week.